Hi guys, welcome to another beer review, and this is one that I think I may have reviewed in the past, but it's sort of, um, well, I'll show you it. It's another beer from Camber Bavaria, probably one of my favourite German craft breweries, and this is the, it's just called the IPA, the Ringer Pale Ale. Now, as you can see, the artwork has changed, and um, yeah, I think they started doing this in early 2017 because they moved premises, um, from what I can remember. I'm suspecting that this is either the same or a tweaked version of the other IPA, which was spelt E-I-P-I-A-I, -I -I, which was one of my favourite German craft beers. I say that because the background artwork looks similar to that from what I remember. So it could be the same beer, um, but I'm going to review it anyway. And it's always good to promote one of your favourite craft brewers as well. So this is clocking in at 6.6% with an IBU count of 62. I think the beer that I'm thinking that this is a different version of was at around 7 or 8% more on the lines of a double IPA but don't quote me on that one I probably should have done a little bit more research or actually got in touch with them beforehand so I could give you a much more informed opinion. The hops are uh, Chinook, Cascade, Mosaic and Citra and the malts are Pilsner, Vienna malts and Caramalts and yeast is American Ale Yeast. Very nice looking label, I think you'll agree. You get a nice label on the neck of the bottle and there's also a new crown on these new bottles. So yeah, picked this up in Beretta, God knows when. I've probably had this maybe a little bit too long downstairs. But uh, does it have a best before date? Best before date is the 30th of the 10th, 2017, so could actually be a relatively fresh one. I was just uh, sorting out my little stash downstairs, seeing what stuff had to be drank and that sort of thing, because it's like one of those situations in it where you've got like a little stash of beers, but they're all like either Doppelbox or Imperial Stouts, Barley Wines, that sort of stuff. Beers that you can't just really casually jump into. It's a Saturday evening and I wanted something nice and hoppy, nice and light. And uh, yeah, so I'm having a couple of IPAs this evening. So, beer in a glass and that is a lovely amber colour. Slight sunset look to it. Lovely carbonation streaming up to that. Three fingers worth of maybe a slightly off-white foamy looking head. Uh, there is haze in there. I'm not accounting that to chill haze because it's not really been in the fridge for that long, to be honest. But that being said, it's colder in the basement than it is in the actual fridge, which is ideal for storing beer, um, I found. I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. But yeah, it looks like, you know, your textbook IPA. Lovely hues to it. So we shall see if we can get an aroma through this head. And it's a medley of hops straight away. Not in that like punchy, like zesty sense, but you're getting like your sort of like lychee, little bit of grapefruit, a slight tropical edge to it. And these lovely hops are playing nicely with that malt base as well. You get that sweetness coming from that caramel malt. Quite fragrant. It's got this sort of like powdery sense to it, almost like a sherbetty or like you've got like these flavoured sherbets that you dilute with water and you've got like a nice sort of tangy juice, if that makes sense. Reminds me of uh, like refreshers back in the UK, or I'm not sure if they're a universal sweet, but like that sort of like really compressed powdery sugar sweets where as soon as you bite into them they all crumble. That's the sort of impression I'm getting on the aroma. Well, yeah, it's, it's not in your face, but it's a very vibrant smelling IPA in terms of its hop build. And one of those ones that you could probably just sit there and enjoy the aroma all night. Anyway, I've waffled on way too long already. Let's get the beer tasted. Cheers, guys. From the flavour, 
I don't think it is that same IPA that I was talking about. That one had a little bit more of a, a harshness on the bitterness and a bit more of like a, a multi presence, like a double IPA. But this, you are feeling that, was it 60, 62 IBUs? You are feeling that. And you get that right from the start, and then it's right in the back end as well. But it's not harsh at all. It's really, really nice. But that's the first thing you get is this like tropical burst, and then the bitterness coming through. It's quite tangy as well, like um, a sour sweet sort of thing. Not that it's a sour taste in beer or anything like that, but you know what I mean. Let's uh, pour that all in. Those malts come into play as well. And it kind of does have that feeling, actually, now that I'm tasting it, of a, a lower-end double IPA. And when I mean low-end, I mean lower-end on the like the hoppy, malty characteristics, not the quality level. Because Camber, I've yet to try a bad beer by these guys, even in styles that I'm not a big fan of. And for a brewery that is really quite... They're churning out so many different beers. They've done so many different styles. They've done so many different unique twists on styles. Very prolific brewery. But they never seem to let the quality go. And I've had a great experience with the beers from these guys. But yeah, now I'm talking. That bitterness is becoming a little bit stronger. But not to the point where you're like, Ugh, this is a bit too bitter. But that being said, three, two or three years ago, if I was having this, I would have probably said it's a little bit more too bitter for my tastes. Get a slight sense of an alcohol warmth as it's going down, but not in an unpleasant way. Um, at 6.6%, some may argue that that could be masked a little bit better, but it never gets in the way of the beer, and it never works as a detriment to the overall experience. But yeah, on the other hand, is this an out of this world IPA? Um, no, you know, look at the market now. It doesn't matter when you're watching this video, just look at the market of what IPAs are. So many craft breweries, when they start up, they churn out like IPAs, pale ales, and like a lager or something like that. And the style in itself is probably the most popular style in terms of craft brewing. So you've got a hell of a lot of beers competing with each other. This might not stand out in the crowd with most of them, but for a German brewed crafted IPA, it doesn't promise much. It's not got something before IPA, like hop burst IPA or anything like that. It doesn't promise. It's just a, you know, it's an IPA, plain and simple. Nice tropical tones, nice bitterness to it. It's got a lovely sweet body to it, which I really, really like. That, to me, is an 8 out of 10 IPA. And, uh, yeah, if you ever get the opportunity to try it, then definitely give it a go. And if any of my viewers uh, could tell me, or if the guys at Canva end up watching this review, if you could tell me if this is a, a newly brewed IPA, or if it's like a change or a development or something of a pre-existing recipe i'd be really intrigued to know and it, it does have those similarities to that ipa that i was talking about earlier on but i don't know i'm sure the alcohol was a little bit more uh, present and a bit more of a high abv but this even though you do get that slight alcohol warmth on the back end you could still you know crush this one it's a very dangerous beer in that sense and um, yeah, another fine job from the guys over at Camba Bavaria. So if you have tried this one, as always, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Check out my Camba Bavaria playlist down below. Um, yeah, like I said, one of my favourite craft breweries just ever. Check them out. Links are down below. The website's English friendly, so you can look up. Uh, what they've got to say about their beers and their philosophies and that sort of thing. It's great to see them always developing and their new premises and that sort of stuff. It's going to be interesting to see just how higher they can get. Um, you can get a few of their beers in the UK and no matter which one it is, give them a try because they've got quality throughout in my experience. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully you'll join me next time.
Cheers.